hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created jwt util for parsing and validating and in today's video we will create the user repository and auth service and in the auth service we will write a method to create an admin account and we will write the code to get the admin account from the db and if it is not there then we will create the new account so let's get started and in our spring boot application first of all we need to create the user repository in the repository package so let's right click on the hotel server package and from here let's choose new package and we will name this package as repository and after this we will right click on this repository package and we will choose new java class and we will name this class as user repository and from the options we will select interface and after this we will annotate this interface with at the rate repository annotation and then we need to extend this from jpa repository and we will import it from data.jpa.repository and after this here we need to mention the entity which is user in our case and we will import this user from hotel server dot entity and after this we need to give the data type of the primary key which is long in our case and after this in this user repository we need to write a method which will find the user by the email and this method will return optional user and the query for this method will be find first by email and after this for the params we will mention string and we will name this as email and with this our user repository is completed now we need to create the auth service in the services package so we will right click on the hotel server and we will choose new package and we will name this package as services and after this we will right click on this services package and we will choose new package and we will name this package as auth and in this auth package we need to create our service classes so we will right click on it and we will choose new java class and we will name this class as auth service and from the options we will choose interface and after this we will right click again on the auth package and we will choose new java class and we will name this class as auth service implementation and after this we will annotate this class with at the rate service annotation and at the end we will annotate this with at the rate required args constructor and we will import it from lombok and now we need to inject our user repository in this auth service so we will write private final and here we will mention user repository and we will name this as user repository and after this we can start writing our method and the return type of this method will be void and we will name this method as create an admin account and in the body of this method we need to get existing admin account so we will create one optional variable of user and we will name this as admin account and after this we will use our user repository and after this we need to call a method to search the user by the role so let's open our user repository and let's create the method here and the return type of this method will be optional of user and the query for this method will be find by user role and in the params we need to write user role and we will import it from hotel server dot enums and after this we will name this as user role and now let's go back to our auth service implementation and from the user repository we will call a method find by user role and in the params we need to pass the role so we will write user role dot admin and after this we need to check this admin account so we will write if condition and we will use our admin account and we will call a method is empty and if our admin account is not empty then we will write this else case and in the body of this else case we will print a line and we will show a message admin account already exists and if our admin account is empty then we will create a new user and we will name this as user and we will initialize it by calling new user and after this we need to set the details in this user so we will use user and we will call set email method 
and for the value we will pass admin at the rate test.com and after this we need to set the name so we will use user dot set name method and for the value we will pass admin and after this we need to set the user role so we will call user dot set user role method and for the value we will pass user role dot admin and at the end we need to set the password so we will use user and we will call set password method and in the params we need to pass the encrypted password and to encrypt our password we will use bcrypt password encoder so we will write new bcrypt password encoder and we will call dot encode method and in the params we need to pass our raw password so let's pass it as admin and after this we need to save our admin user so we will use our user repository and we will call save method and in the params we will pass the user and after this we will write print statement and we will show the message admin account created successfully and at the end to call this method automatically we need to annotate this method with at the rate post construct annotation and with this the code to create the admin account is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 and in the logs we can see a message that admin account created successfully and we can see the sql query got printed as well to insert the user in the user table now let's go to the mysql workbench and let's validate this entry there and in the mysql workbench we will open the tables drop down of our hotel underscore db and after this to view the data we will click on this icon and as you can see we got one record inserted of the admin in the user table where we can see the email the name and after this we can see the password which is in encrypted form now let's go back to the IntelliJ and in the IntelliJ let's run our application again and as you can see our application is up without any errors again and in the logs we can see a message that admin account already exists and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create web security configuration and sign up api for the customers